I like the uh, the words to call uh, C.S. Lewis as the reasoning romantic, reasoning power is intellectual intellectual rationing power, which every theologian, scholar, philosopher, and uh, church leader, uh, and also church member, any sort needs to have. But just have intellectual power is insufficient. You got to have the romantic part of it. That's what C.S. Lewis had. So what does that mean? That means he combines the rational, the rational faculty, with the imagination or intuitive faculty. So, imagination faculty or intuitive faculty together with the rational thinking, reasoning faculty of our mind, our brain. So, <clears throat> reason is the a prior priori of truth. Imagination is a priori of meaning. So, Lewis is deeply interested in the relationship between reason and emotion, intellect and intuition, how they intersect in human experience. He believed that reason alone was insufficient for understanding the deepest truth of existence, that emotions, imagination, intuition play critical roles in apprehending reality. So, that means... We need to know that we are not robots learning intellectually the, all the lessons. We need to have emotions. We need to have feelings. We need to have excitement. We need to be Pentecostal and Presbyterian at the same time to combine the two. We need to have that. all this. He believed that reason alone was insufficient for understanding the deepest truth of existence. Not enough. You got the best theology? Not enough. And then you need emotions, imagination, intuition, play critical roles. So you need emotions, you need imagination. I'm not saying that the Pentecostal or charismatic group have the best imagination power. In fact, it's rather, I think you will be lacking because if you don't have the knowledge base to, 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 to go into that, you can't have the imagination. You need to have the knowledge base for you to bring up to the imagination level and the intuition plays critical roles c.s lewis being a reasoning romantic man integrating both rational thought and imagination exploration imaginative exploration in in the exploration of the pursuit of truth he argued that reason could lead one to the threshold of understanding but it was often the imagination and emotional intuition that allow one step beyond the threshold into a deeper insight. You got that? So reason bring us, brings a person up to the threshold, up to the threshold, but you're not really there, your threshold. But it's, it's the uh, it's imagination and the emotional, what did he call it? But it is the imagination and emotional intuition that bring you over the threshold into the deeper insights. Wow, what an epistemology, right? C.S. Lewis explored these themes, weaving the, together philosophical insights with vivid imagination and storytelling, like books, the scripted letters, scripted letters and chronicles of Narnia, abolition of man. So he celebrates the power of myth, metaphor, and symbolism conveying profound truths that transcend mere logical argumentation. So... Being a reasoning romantic encapsulates Lewis' holistic approach to knowledge and understanding, acknowledging the importance of both reason and imagination in the pursuit of truth and meaning. I would encourage everybody to go into what he's done with his approach to knowledge, with intellectual pursuit, rational thinking, reasoning, but combining with uh, emotional intuition and imagination. Powerful.